What's up Cheekies, it's Baron here. Today we're going to be talking about future releases of ships and this year and the next. So we're just making speculations and sort of making an educated guess of what we've seen in the past and what we can sort of go off. So we're going to go with an introduction. So with the events over the last few months and a lot of the content and, and updates that are coming, we also know we're coming along quite well. We know that Chris Roberts made the update saying that Iron Cache will be here by the end of the year. And we also know that we should have server meshing by next year. Now, it's not like 100%, but it is on the schedule to be finished next year. Now, this opens a lot of doors for a lot of different ships, like the inventory system and Iron Cache. So that's probably why we're getting the whole series and um, a lot of other you know modular ships are going to be coming out and just a lot of different systems coming in we know modularity is actually being worked on as we speak salvaging and whatnot so there's a lot to come um so we know the whole series like i said is coming we know the whole c and a are coming we don't know about the other ones just yet so going over you know the content going over the roadmaps and having a look we can see for 2022 it's going to be quite a good year and 3.16 so a bit of 3.16 in terms you know of the ships on there now we know there wasn't a lot on there and it looks like they've sort of just adding ships onto it so i think we can expect a few more ships to be added there a few unannounced ships in that uh, sort of time frame look like they're going to be finished so i think it's a possibility for you know a much anticipated ship to come out which is highly possible since we're getting physicalized inventory and eye case at the end of the year as mentioned by chris roberts as i mentioned before um, now, Citizen Con will probably give us a big indicator and possibly some really big announcements, maybe even a, a ship announcement, who knows. But due to being the first one since they missed last year and also the possible concept release at IA this year, 2021-2022, could also have the possibility of having the Apollo series released because of the hospitals that are coming and the possible death of a spaceman. Now, as for 2022, I personally feel there will be a lot to come since server meshing is supposed to be finished mid-year and possibly even a Squadron 42 release. If you have, look, have a look at the roadmap, you will see what I am talking about. So, the potential for ships will be huge and so far, example for the Merchman, the Perseus and the Polaris, yes, the Perseus and Polaris were pulled from the tracker, but they may be a couple of surprise releases and they may be a couple of the unannounced ships. Now, the Merchantmen we know are being worked on as we speak. We also know that there's a few others. So, by next year, possibly the Merchantmen will be released probably quarter three, quarter four. If Squadron 42 comes out, then we'll have the F8C ships, which we caught the sea. Now, the Raylan could be a possibility as well. The entire hull series right up to the D as we still are yet to hear about the hull B and D um, and the E. So don't forget that physicalized inventory is a big part of it. Icash and server meshing as I mentioned we could even see the Orion come into the verse. Personally I feel <clears throat> that with all the new features coming that it opens a door for ship releases. Now, with the vendoring in 2021, it makes a good way for the merchant to come into action. Earlier, um, we spoke about other ships like the Polaris and the Perseus. Now, they're not 100%. They're speculation. I'm not 110% sure on this. Now, obviously, I'm going off information that I've seen and sort of just using my initiative to um, use this information to give to you guys. Now with salvaging being worked on we know there's a lot of ships coming we know that the vulture is coming we know that there's a few ships coming down the pipeline the scorpius the whole a next year but we don't know what's coming over the next well the next three quarters of that year but it could be really big now i don't think we'll see any capital ships i don't think we'll see the endeavor but salvaging is going to be a thing so they also mentioned that if whoever owns a reclaimer will also get the vulture to check out that sort of game loop and get a feel for it now i know that's not you know a big thing for a lot of people but for others it opens a massive door for making money in the verse now if you look at the time frames and you look at the roadmap you'll see what i'm talking about so like i said for 2022, we know that the Vulture, the Hull A, and the Scorpius will be coming. Now, we know that for a fact, because it's on the roadmap. 
but we know there's a lot of unannounced ships here that could also be released by this year and next year. We know the Corsair could be released next year, but it could be a surprise release for this year. So, like I said, I'm using a lot of ed like educated guesses, um, speculating as well, because speculating is one of the things that we like to do here. Um, so, if you have an idea of what you think may come out over the next two years, let me know down in the comments section below because I think 3.16 has a big doorway for a lot of ship releases and I think we should just keep our eyes out. Again, Citizen Con is coming. That could release another whole different scale of ships. IAE, we know that there is a new couple of ship releases, um, a few concept ship announcements, may I say. So there's a lot of potential, as I said, for other ships to come out. I think over the next two years, it's going to be a massive, massive target. Now, I've said in the past that I think maybe there could be a possibility for next year to have beta, but it's, again, it's just speculation. And I'm just theory crafting at this time. So just going off all the information I've seen and just going off of my sort of way of looking at it, I feel that it would go into beta. Let me know down in the comments what everyone else thinks because it's just my way of thinking uh, about this whole process and how they're going about everything right now. I think it's just, you know, it's just we got to look at all this information and see what we get from it. And, you know, we got to think about what's happened in the past now. We might not get a lot of these ships, so we got to take it into um, consideration. Like I said, there is a possibility for a lot of this um, medical function coming into the game as the Apollo series plays a big role in this. We also have the Cuddy Red, which is also obviously in the game. We have the Endeavour Hope, which I don't think the Endeavour is probably going to be here for a while. It could come in, but then again, it could not. It might not have any functionality. The Hull E and the Hull D could be a massive possibility for next year as well. I mean, there's just so many different things. Now, since we're getting modularity in as well, the carrot could also serve a lot of different purposes. But for ship releases, let me know what you think will be coming next year in terms of ships, even this year, if there's going to be some surprises. But uh, it's been Baron. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the verse. I want to thank our channel members, uh, patrons. Um, I want to thank Fateless for having Legardas. I want to thank A123 for five for having Dominus, Real Donald Dump, and Reynold Rhodes and Thor for having Prevectors. But thank you so much for watching. Peace.